Hello everybody, it's Terry and welcome to my channel. Today is Friday and you know what Friday means. Friday is time to see which plant remains to clean, which is the most fragrant orchid on Friday in my greenhouse right now, in my collection right now. And I am in the greenhouse. This is actually, I think, going to be one of the most competitive. We'll see what's going on outside. But let's start inside at this end. We are evaluating flowers, of course, scent, and it is now Friday, of course, August something. And it is right after eight o'clock in the morning. So, and as I approach this area over here, I am already smelling fragrance. So let's just get right to it because I'm sure that there's a lot of blooms to be looked at. Um, let's start up here. This is the cross of the two perennial contenders, these two right here that are intermingling and talking and probably psyching each other out, mentally trying. But anyway, this is the cross of both of them, Samurai Blue and Qingling Happy Queen. Let me give it a smell. And it is very soft. It is not, it does have that slight chemical manufactured sweet that Bellina is known for, but it is not as pungent as it would normally be. Very light and delicate. Let's go to this right here, which is the Bellina Kilani, I believe. And let me dump the water out because they've been soaking long enough. And look at that. That's going to be a competitor on another plant. Okay, so let me smell. And I would say compared to, it's the same. Oh boy, is that a beautiful flower? Look at that. But. The scent is much more faint. It is sweet, but it is faint. So it is not in contention this week. Let's go here to Samurai Blue. It's got three flowers on it this week. And I would say it's very, very faint. I can barely smell it. It's this, the profile comes through as, as uh, the same profile as all of these with that slight Bellina edge, but it's not really coming out at all. So let's just move on. Chingling Happy Queen. Now this is really interesting because this has a more musky, very musky scent to it. And almost a little bit of mothball in there, but it's still sweet. Let me smell this again. You know what? There's so much going. I think this is still the winner for right now. Let's move on down. Because we've got a lot to smell. We'll stop here. We all know this is Yang Yang Blueberry. And, you know, I really do need some sort of a closet to, to keep the scent when I'm smelling it in and my nose in because there's so much else around that I'm smelling that it kind of gets in the mix. And it really, that is not fragrant at all right now. So I'm just gonna keep on walking. Let's go down here. I've got a couple things down here. This is my Fal Sumatrana. That really, that is, this flower is just opening. Let's see. Um, you know what? It will have a fragrance, I think, but it's not developed yet because the flower is still freshly open. Let's try this one. This is my Zabrina. Uh, no, just wax. 
Okay, let's jump up here to Guadalupe Pineda. And very, very faint scent, not in the contention. Not not in contention. Let's try this. Yeah, I found pink. Nope. Alrighty. And that seems to be it for flowers in the greenhouse. That is it. Okay, so I will crown this cross as far as in the first place right now. So when I come back, I will be out in the greenhouse because I can't go through that door. It's all blocked off. So stay tuned, be right back. and I am just going to go inside first and see what's going on in here really quickly and really I don't think there's any flowers currently here just Acreopsis uh, That's it. There's nothing hiding anywhere. None that I can remember. Yeah, that's it. So let's go out here and I will hang her here. Well, I mean her, the plant here. And I am going to look around for flowers. And here we are here at the Ginger Cow. And Nothing. It usually is caramel, but right now it is nothing. And let's keep on going, because there's a few flowers out here. Let's try this. This has been in bloom for such a long time. Such a long time. And there is fragrance. Still that slight, just a floral, almost rose, almost a rose scent, but it's the flowers I've been in flower for so long. I would just say that it's kind of weakening the fragrances. I don't think that's fragrant. Um, there's nothing here but a convolutin, which is definitely not fragrant. Here is a new flower open right here. This is not fragrant, so I will just set it back and move on. We can talk about that another time. Let me pull down this, which is Orchid Jungle Cayman. And there is chocolate there. Mm, this is very, very faint. So I'm gonna keep on moving. Anything I'm missing back this way? No. So let's move on to this beauty, another Venetia that has chocolate. And it is chocolate and it is stronger than the other one. But let me go back and smell this just to compare the two. Hmm. I think I need another smell. Anyway, right now, I think this takes over the place for the other. This is just more of a pure, innocent. This is just pure cocoa. Ah. More pleasing than that because it has, that has a little bit more of a bite. And you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm just gonna keep on moving. Let's smell this, this LC seagulls nothing there I know there's nothing smelling here let's see keep on going back. yeah back this way and we are here at 
this in Cyclia and there is absolutely no fragrance. Not at this moment, moment in time. This in Cyclia, there is, hmm, there is chocolate in there. But something else, let me smell this. Yeah, very, very faint chocolate. But it's much it's a sweeter chocolate than this. It's the same profile, but much sweeter. There's sugar in that. Whereas the other, just plain Phoenicia, is more like unsweetened, just plain unsweetened cocoa. So, but still, this scent is very faint. You still get those, those scent, those flavors in there, but that one is more pronounced. Now, let's come on down here to see if there's any fragrance in Talon. Very faint, and it is a definite nice, but it's not, since it is bla not blasted, but since it is a spent bloom, really has nothing there. Let me see if this has any fragrance, although I'm sure it doesn't. This is a be pupurescence and no fragrance. So I'm moving on to this beauty, which is Penny and Amazing. And let me think. So, hmm, there is no fragrance, not at this point. So, without lollygagging and putting off what we already know to be true in lieu of me finding any other flowers. But let me keep looking. Wow, that, that is nice, but I know there may be something else open. Not quite yet, okay. So, without further ado, folks, pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please let me know. But right now, this Friday at 8.15 a.m. Central Standard Time, this encyclia is the most fragrant orchid in my collection. This Friday. Everybody give it a round of applause. She is a beauty, a newcomer. But anyway, folks, thanks for watching. And enjoy your kids. Bye.